Muy buenas. Seguimos jugando al Red Dead Redemption 2. ¿Dónde tenemos que ir a hablar con Dutch? ¿Cómo está todo? ¿Qué? Ah, me acaba de hablar en español. Me, me he quedado <ríe> congelado porque lo voy a hablar en español y digo, ¿eh? ¿La han traducido? No sé por qué te iba a robar el caballo. Vamos a marcar en el mapa. Ah, ya sé yo dónde está. Así nos va. Hombre, buscar asentamientos cerca de la ciudad no debe ser muy difícil. Creo que llevamos tiempo aquí haciendo nuestras abuelitas y nuestra vida. Es fácil decir que la gente en la ciudad de Valentine les diga ¿Dónde hay gente asentada por aquí cerca que antes no estaba? Tal vez era porque hemos matado algo así como 200 mercenarios suyos y tendré que volver a untar a gente. Creemos ahorrar el pavo. Hasta que no consiga muchos más mercenarios no podrán atacar. ¿Quién es el Necesito las dos manos, no te puedo subir. Entonces, más ágil. Imposible, puedo subir solita. A ver. Vale. So you were just about And... Hombre, el Fifi Cleaner. Como tú por aquí, Java, actualización. Los dos juntitos y de la mano. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. The Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem. Eventually, it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, these Pinkertons. Better paid bounty hunters. I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind it. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one. No me digas lo que pasa cuando robas un magnate del ferrocarril. 
continuamente le robas a él, que a la larga se cabre y va por ti. Si es un magnate tiene dinero para pagarse la búsqueda para matarte. Uf, cuatro balas. No es momento de andar con el rifle. También desde donde nos pueden hacer una emboscada. Me colocaría detrás de esa roca, siempre más lejos. Si puedes algo motivo aquí. Parece que se han ido hace poquito. ¿Y quién es este? O esta, mejor dicho. Suerte que ellos no me han disparado primero. Y preguntado después. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Mit German? No. No, go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. No, no, no. Who did you get? Men, last night. Where? Where did they take them? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. Tal vez sea el cadáver de ahí atrás. Tiene una pinta germana. ¿Qué haces? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breeding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. You think this is the right way? Give me a second. Ok, 
No decir el carro mató. Qué grande. Me dio justo que no pasa nada desapercibido. Eh, sigue contando la historia. Me imagino que por haber chocado con él, hoy se cortó el diálogo. Un abandonado. Vaya día. Si nos dedicásemos a sacar campamentos, otro con fuego. Venga ya. ¿Dónde está este guy? No lo sé. Pero ¿sabes algo? Este es un mejor camp spot que por ahí. Mucho más fácil de defender. Tal vez. Hombre, hola. Este es el lugar siempre hay que venir alrededor, porque es lo típico que están intentando gritar para avisarte. ¿Ves? Vamos a ponernos larga distancia. Eh, caballo está por ahí. Estoy asustando. Moriréis. Prefiero saquear. Necesito balas, así que lo siento, colono, pero necesito balas. Cadáver. No, eres una fogata. Oye, dame un segundo. Anillo con emblema, ¿veis? Porque hay que saquear. 533. ¿Por qué tengo tantos dólares? que había gastado. Ah, no, estaba pendiente de comprarme un revólver. Con lo que había ganado había tenido suficiente para comprarlo, pero luego empezó todo el jaleo y decidí esperarme por si me daban uno. ¡Revólver Cattleman! ¡Uh! ¿Puedo cambiar el revólver raro este? Aquí está. Cambiar escopeta recortada. ¿Lo has cambiado ya? No, ahí está. 
Ahí está, no te muevas. Ahí está, Roller Catalan. ¿Veis por qué no quise comprarlo? Lo siento, es completamente recortado, pero es que no tiene ningún sentido para corta distancia en el dual welding. Lo rompes. Sí, señor. A ver, sacamos a este y ya podemos ir a por el colono. Por eso no quería comprar, porque si estás pendiente probablemente puedas ir consiguiendo armas. Es como avanzando en la historia. Ah, 61 centavos. Listo. ¿Dónde estaba ese colono? Ah, lo tenemos ahí. Lo podías soltar tú, no hace falta que te quedes ahí mirando. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Muy bien, Colón. Nos vamos. En cuanto saque el cadáver de este tío. Cartucho de revólver, genial. Esto es lo que me hacía falta. Si me dais cartuchos de rifle. Aquí es donde he dejado la escopeta recortar. El único problema es que es posible que la pierda. Una vez que puedes dejarlo en el caballo. Aunque bueno, sé que no voy a utilizar el revólver, es un recortado. Pero por si acaso. Ah, es con el E1. Ahí está, es con la escopeta recortada. Está bastante gastado. Bueno, Colón, nos vamos a ver a tu familia. Hombre, si no, no te habría dejado que te subieses al caballo. Esto es un pleno oscuro. Estoy pensando cómo están haciendo los faros, los faros del caballo. Estoy yo, bueno, eh, creo que mejor voy por la línea de puntos. Atravesar un bosque hacia las bravas es un primer riesgo. Mejor intentar seguir el camino. Eso que hay luna llena y da bastante luz, pero aún así, muy posible que me coma. Un árbol. Y si me lo como, yo puedo. Comerme un árbol, pero el alemán lo dudo. ¡Ah! ¡No! Está poniendo una vela no llena, pues. Buena luminosidad. Ya me está amenazando. Nos cruzamos y la gente te amenaza. Al siguiente le volaré la cabeza y diré que me asustó. Right. 
Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. No me da tiempo a silenciar, perdón. A ver, ¿dónde está mi tienda? Ah, aquí. Hora de afitarnos. Hace la barba a una velocidad espectacular. Pero el bigote no te da para más. Creo que voy a esperar un poco a ver si. Si me espero. Ahí tiene que estar todo. Con el mismo largo para que crezca, porque no paso el 5. Queremos un buen mostacho. A ver qué nos cuenta Vidal. Tendría que ir a Brandon y hacer mantenimiento a las armas. Tal vez sería más fácil que pasar desapercibido si este no fuese con ropa tan llamativa siempre. In and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves. You know, a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of thick. Ahora que me fijo ese no es mi rifle. Me faltan miras. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would. My days are looking good along. Always green, crushing and bubble burst. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. Tienes que dejarme hacer las armas. Ahora, a ver dónde está mi auténtico rifle. Este es el bueno. Thick and soupy as this air is. 
Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Easy. Luz el del chaleco rojo fosforito. Some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur... Chase wanted man. Uh, and and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, Come hurry. All right. Okay. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Uh, faster. Come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. The Bacomio! So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. You all are a goddamn joke. Ah. Ah. Idiot. Uy, lo atropellado. Now, Que juro no le disparase, no que lo atropea así con el caballo. Oh, cuidado, ese me detendrá. 
mi debilidad. Un rollo de no. Adiós. Necesito pelo. No es que llevo pistolas y escopetas. ¿Qué haces con esa navajita? Tiene que agarrar un tardo y te reviento con él. Tole. Sí, va genial. Casi, casi está. ¿Qué va a morir? Solo estaba dormido. Es un placer volver a romper una paliza. Mi sombrero. Vamos, Arthur, ¿qué pasa? ¿Ahora eres un súper inútil? ¿Qué pasa? ¿El que pega primero gana? Y ya está. Tú te vas a pegar un bonito viaje por el tren. ¿No va para el tren? Quiere tirarlo en marcha. Se lo ha ganado. ¿Y los otros tres dónde los has dejado? ¿Y dónde se colga? Ahí. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said. Just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. Roads. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. 
very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Come on, partner, before he wakes up. Okay, this way. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. The bow? These better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting. A caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses falling out of rebel gold, marrying cousins, not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents. Some sense. Super agents. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there? Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Yeah. Sure. Take away those doors. Oh my god, me. Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. ¿Qué caballo ganará? Creo que el de José va en primera posición. Ganó. Blanquito fue el último. Dickens era el blanquito, el más llamativo de todos. ¿Cómo no? And it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. 
Tiene una buena forma de empezar. Eso no cabe duda. Está un pelín lejos del arroyo, ¿eh? This is the spot. Down to the left there. Esto de arroyo tiene muy poquito. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. Looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Be uh. oh, let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> Now take us to the deeper water to pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do too. Get us a bit deeper. Y esto lo llamaban arroyo. Toma ya. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance. We're hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, man. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Are you trying to make your lure look like a dead fish? They won't be interested if it ain't moving. Agitándolo así. Qué animal. Okay, that was a bite. Arthur, you have to catch one at least. 
Got him. Come on, Arthur. You can't go back empty-handed. Hey, que tampoco habéis picado, picado ninguno. Something's nibbling. There we go. Damn it, I lost him. They're nibbling. They're hooked them. Siempre cambia la dirección. No me que haga un círculo completo. Maybe if you caught a fish, we'd stop teasing you. All right, all right. This ain't a race. Parece que esto no va a llegar a buen puerto. Rotar no sirve nada. Mover al azar parece que sirve lo mismo que rotar. Y dar golpes, lo mismo. Son unas tres pulsaciones lo que hace. Haga lo que haga, ¿veis? Cuatro. Si roto, si golpeo, si dejo quieto, si voy en una dirección, si pauso en cuanto empieza a moverse un poco. Siempre es igual. Antes sí que brillaba un poquito, cuando lo hacía en una dirección a veces brillaba un poquito el icono de rota, pero no veo que lo haga. That feels like a bite. Got one. ¿Qué te sirve que piquen si no te No lo sacas. Yo estoy equivocado. Más divertido es cuando estando tan juntos se enredan las cañas. Eso sí que la lía, pero buena. Cuando se enredan se dan en un árbol. Dos kilos, no está mal. Hey, Jose, you remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, oh, this again? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, you do. He was maybe 20. Ah, no, es este el que tenía que mover. Está. Está moviendo el joystick que no era. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. 
Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. You got a bite there, Arthur. That's on the hook, Arthur. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. He replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I'd swim to shore. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he yeah, had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, that. the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons had patrols out and all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Got a nibble there, Arthur. Just gotta reel him in now, Arthur. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. <coughs> Nicely done, Arthur. Tengo que remarcar que vosotros aún no habéis picado nada. No he picado, creo que al menos uno, pero pescado ninguno. Vale, uno de cada. Make sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. Vale, yo estoy listo. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Now, Jose. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait until the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I wish to God I'd passed her by. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Tears got burned and so did I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us, three. Mariner. Ah, of course. Well, we need three poor mariners to leak up from the 
seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Maiden is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round and round. men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around, to them we dance this round around around, and he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground of ground of ground. Well, you know, we should not let the folks back in. Indeed not. All right. I think I, well, I mean, we are going to be okay. I know. Well, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Let me have no. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Just a, just a few bucks. I'm sure I made it. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Bien, pues tenemos un nuevo comienzo en el sur. Y imagino que en la siguiente parte veamos más de las dos familias que están enfrentadas en esta zona con sus plantaciones. Hasta entonces. <risa>